going to use the newest version of Photoshop Elements 2018 and one of their new features to replace a background on a photo. So we're going to go from this to a fun backdrop like this. It's a great way to showcase those Halloween costumes as you add a background to them. So we're going to select the photo that we want to work on and go ahead into the guided edits. Right here it's called replace background and as you slide back and forth you can see the example of before and after. You're going to go ahead and click replace background in the guided edit. And over here on the left you can select how you would like to work with your photo. I'm just going to use auto. And I'm going to go draw a box around the area that I would like it to auto select. It's going to do all the work for me and you can see those um, marching ants all along the lines of the exterior of the things that I would like to select. So next I am going to come back over to the right and choose a background and import a photo. And I have one already ready to go, this superhero backdrop. So right there it dropped the um, photo I had before onto the new background. Now you can go ahead and move your image around. So I clicked the Move tool and so I can place us where I would like to on the photo, like so. Now as you're noticing there's a few spots that it might have missed with the auto grab so we can go ahead and refine that by using the Refine Edge brush over here. You have two options. You can either add or subtract. So with the add, I didn't quite grab the middle of that girl shirt, so I can just add that in. And you just click and drag over it um, to, to bring those into play. Then to subtract, you'll just do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and size it down and make my image a little bit bigger so I can see the areas that I'm working on. I'm just going to drag over where I would like to show what I'm doing and go ahead and subtract those areas out that it might have missed. As you can see, I'm doing that here. Make your brush smaller if you need to. Okay, then I can go ahead and zoom back out and see if there's anything else. You can see it kind of cut my arm just a little here, so I'll go back to the add and add in that section. And we can add in just a little bit of the hair on this one and the arm over here. And so you can keep playing with it and adding and subtracting to make it just right. And you still can go back to step number three and move that image around wherever you would like it to go. I'm going to place this down here. And after you are done, you can just go ahead and hit next. And from that point, you're able to save your image. That is all there is to it. Just a few quick steps. I was able to swap my image from before and after. Let's see. And get this amazing background in the back. Super fun way to add an extra fun element to your photos. Thank you.